Your nonprofit work has certain knowable costs. Costs for staff, costs for property and equipment, costs for programs. Sound nonprofit finance means determining, accounting for, and allocating those costs properly. It also helps in your fundraising efforts to know how much a program will truly cost your organization. But out of all of your costs, how do you, for example, figure out how much staff time should be associated with your program to rescue and rehabilitate 100 abandoned guinea pigs? This is where cost allocation comes into play, and we recommend four methods for cost allocation. You can use any combination of these methods, all depending on the type of program with which you are working. Number one, direct assignment. Direct assignment is any cost directly intended for a program. These are the most obvious costs. For example, the guinea pig cages you'll need for those poor abandoned guinea pigs, or food for the guinea pigs. Number two, staff time. This cost allocation method includes calculating staff time in any full-time equivalents, or FTEs, dedicated directly to the program's execution and management. Remember that some staff could only have a portion of their time dedicated to the program. Number three, cost drivers. It allocates costs that are based on volume. Cost drivers can be anything from square footage to the number of students, participants, attendees, or guinea pigs. Cost drivers are used to allocate the cost of things like rent, marketing materials, or training supplies. Number four, estimate. This method is for allocating costs that don't have a clear metric to divide it up, such as website costs and public policy involvement. Choosing which method or methods is an art, not a science. Ask yourself if it makes sense, can you support it with information, and ask yourself if it's practical enough not to drive you and your staff crazy. Cost allocation is important in determining where money is really going and provides you with a more complete picture of the money you'll need to do the work that matters.